right, Mom, I got someone at the door, so let me let you go. Uh, but I will tell Mia you said hi and tell her dad I love him. OK. All right. Bye. Oh, hi, sweetie. You hear from Mia? Please allow the courier to be present to witness the reading of this letter. Okay, well, this could take a while. Do you want to come in? Can I get you anything? Water, lemonade? You don't know me. You will likely never meet me. My name is Fitz Willard, and I'm on death row at the St. Louis Correctional Facility. I was locked up for the murder of my wife and two children. Carly was 11. Morgan was eight. I loved them dearly, but I did kill them. I will admit that first and foremost. I hate myself for it, and I rot in my cell tortured by the images of their blood dripping off my knuckles. Let me tell you my story. You see, I'm cursed. I have a demonic spirit that has attached itself to me. It taunts me incessantly. She's cheating on you. She is disgusting. She never loved you, you know that. She can't stand you. Your kids can't stand you either. You've worked your entire life just to be a worthless joke. Oh, I know what you're thinking, and I thought I was losing my mind at first. I tried therapy, I tried pills, nothing worked. Well, if it's the scans came back and there's no physical issues, and we've already ruled out schizophrenia, are you sleeping okay? Is it because he's with you? Is he with you now? He tormented me every hour of my day. I stopped sleeping. His voice drove out any last bit of good that was left in me. His suggestions became furious demands, threats even, until finally I caved in. So did she know what was in the letter? I don't know. She really didn't say much or anything. She was quiet. And then pretty much left right after I was done reading it. I looked it up though, it checks out. This guy is real. This really happened. But why would he choose me to send a letter to? He's probably just nuts. He's sending out letters randomly. Maybe. But then how do you explain the little girl? Initially, I thought maybe, you know, it could be like a prank, but she's not one of Mia's friends, at least not one that I've met. I don't know, but I can't stop thinking about it, you know? And as sick as it is, I kind of want to hear more. I don't know, honey. It's definitely weird. I wouldn't worry too much about it, though. 
Hey Mia, dinner's ready. I had a feeling it might be you. Come on in. His name is Grim Deed. The demon, that is. Grim Deed the Tormentor. I did what he asked. Sir, what did you do? I thought it would make him go away. Sir, is someone in the house with you? Yes. Grim Deed never left my side. He was with me in the squad car. He sat behind the defendant's table in the courtroom. He is with me every waking hour in this god-awful cell. Take their guns, kill them, spit on them, ruin them all. I'm sorry, that was rude. Come on in. The death penalty process is painfully slow. I will likely sit in this cell for years before my execution date is even set. He has grown bored with me. Being locked up like this, I can't do much evil worthy of him. He did tell me how to end my curse. Well, the curse never actually ends. You see, that's why I'm writing you to pass the curse along to its next victim. But since I still have a sliver of humanity left in me, I'll at least let you know how it's done. You make someone pick up Grimdeed's curse the same way I did, by inviting him into your home. Three times. <laughs> <laughs>